This is not going very well. Again, I'm not, I don't want this to be a repeat of last time. All right, fine, I'm gonna take this. Now we have the shop instantly, which makes it easier to pick out our stuff. That could be nice and... Ooh, half heart locket, I want that. Again, extra HP is nice, but this time we need to be... I need to be cautious so I can actually, like, not have a repeat of last time. Some of these guys jump the jumps on some of these guys. Jeez. So far, this run not looking very good. There's a bob -omb picture from R64. That's pretty cool. Plus, there's a reference to a. Uh, CDI link in one of the witch's dialogues, a reference to Morshu. So if you like that, that's pretty funny. So I'm gonna ignore that gun room because there is an item that might be super useful to me. That might be in the item room. It basically gives you it grants you two guns instead of one. You can only take one. You can only take one of them before you go back to a standard. But it's useful to have a be able to like take one for the whole floor and then switch out the other one for the boss room. So then you can pick the, whichever one you want, and then you can have. It's easier to it's easier to get through with a stronger weapon than just your starter. I mean, the starter's still really good, but there's stuff that could make it better. It's not the best. Ooh. I will take that super mushroom, which means now I have extra health, which is super useful. Take a health upgrade any time of the day. Alright, so there's the boss turn, which means now all we need to do is just take our winnings and leave. Honestly, though, like that head thing, it would be cool if there was like a body that would also move around. Like, imagine like the. like a body enemy that just moves around and tries to run into you like the regular zombies do. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's take the gun and we're gonna grab the stuff and head on out we got. Ooh, machine gun's pretty good if you're, you have to get up close and personal, but it does work wonders. And I might buy the Ambrosia. I'm probably going to buy the $100 costing thing, depending on what it was. And then buy the, wait a minute, oh crap. Go around the table, around the table. And then I'll buy the Ambrosia, which heals you instantly, or I might just buy it right now because heal health is kind of nice. You know what, I'm gonna buy this. Alright, now I just need to be careful. And start running. I'm gonna get the idea, but like... The guy's super annoying. Like, you wanna take your time, but nope, you gotta hurry, because otherwise you're gonna be dead. But now we're safe. This is handy. Oh, that was nice. 
I'm gonna... Well, I would like to get the heart locket. I think having extra health right now is probably more handy than having a heart locket. And the heart beating thing is just fine. So we're just gonna take this Ambrosia, which lets me... Which get, lets me stay alive, which is probably super handy. I'd rather be alive than not. And I'm just gonna take that and... This guy won't leave me alone, jeez. Like, jeez, that guy is, like, ruthless. Alright, this machine gun's pretty nice. I'm glad I took the t-shirt, because then it allows me to see things more, because usually you don't get to see your whole screen. So being able to see almost the entirety of the room is nice. I will say though, these spike rooms are really annoying because the depth perception on them is really wonky. Oh, I can shoot him from here. He can't hide from me, little. Haha. I said before the spread is like kind of okay it just depends on like your playstyle. like would you want to be able to hit more enemies at once or just effectively hit one All right ball and chain ooh fear itself this one's nice it lets you have more time to shoot I will take that ring and I'll take this having the Ability to negate damage is so handy, especially considering I seem to be doing not well. Okay, I'm just gonna search through these pots. You never know when there's something handy in here. But anyway, we're just gonna try and f find the item room, and then the boss room, and then the gun room, and then we're gonna be on our way out. Hopefully this time I can finally make it there. Like, jeez, this is gonna be annoying. I, the gold ring doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. Like, seriously, I bought it and so far I haven't taken any. It seems to not be working. And he's now chasing us. Goodness. Alright, well that's nice. Oh, heck yeah, having an extra healing, yes. Machine pistol, that's nice. Let's find the boss room. And then I'm going to... This is the problem with the, for some reason it's this one floor, but for some reason I can never, like, I can never, like, make it to every, find everything without him starting to chase me chunks.
Oh, come on. This gold ring seem is doing literally nothing for me. And of course, now I have to do a bunch of searching, and with my luck, it's gonna be the last room I find that's gonna be done with the boss room. Like, seriously, there should be, like, a rule where chunks can only spawn after a certain time, but also after a certain number of... after you've found a certain number of rooms. Like, after you've found the, the, the boss room and the key room and the shop. Like, that should be the... that should be only fair. Also, this gun, you have to be up more up close, which puts you in the more dangerous situations than playing as a trucker. Again, it's a fair trade-off, but it's just whatever you... whatever you're better at. And two hearts, that's nice. Yeah, these guys are annoying, because they kind of just have a weird hitboxes, they have weird ways of, ch like, the directions they chase you in are just weird. So now we're in a better predicament. We gotta find our, we gotta beat these guys. We have to get through this room without, and find the boss room, which is probably through there, but jeez, is this annoying. In case you haven't noticed yet, Chunks is invincible. Only benefit is the extra HP. Like, besides that, this is nightmarish. Okay, good. So now I just need to get back to the shop, and then find the gun, get the machine pistol, and then we're good. I will admit, the only benefit is that he has a... He takes a little while because he's slow. He's pretty slow, which makes it easier to... grab my stuff and go. Oh, he can't get me in here. That's nice. Maybe he just... left. Maybe that's also a possibility. Okay, that was too close for comfort. And again, I'm still figuring out the editing, so this one's also going to be probably unedited, I'm guessing. So don't expect, again, don't expect new editing for a little while. Hopefully in the near future, you should get editing. But for the moment, it's just going to be unedited, so... I'm going to have to stick with the awkward moments where I just stop talking. Can't fill every moment with mindless chit chatter. My right, machine pistol. Now we're talking. And hopefully this time we can actually get to the third floor and heck, maybe we can even finish the game today so I can redeem myself. I like this one. This boss is more of a gauntlet of little enemies. That was nice. And we have enough HP that if I need to- I have enough money that if I need to, I can get Ambrosia, which is very handy. Alright, Attic Sanctum. First time on- oh, this. First time I've been in here on channel, and this is the- this guy. I hate him. But I will take that money guy. I hate this guy. And then this is a annoying room, but- Kinda easy, you have to hit the robot. 
You can't hit the robots, you have to hit the heart and it gets rid of them. Although they can drop money, so that's nice. They can drop hearts. But they didn't. What what is I'm not gonna Oh my gosh, another one of these! I was gonna make a joke about the eyeballs, but no, I gotta deal with the monkey man who's gonna get me killed because I can't find the shop. Literally, if I can't find the shop, I'm gonna be a goner. Wait, there we go. Extra HP. Alright, I was considering getting Ambrosia, but now it's basically I have to get Ambrosia. And maybe I can if I stop getting rooms with the monkeys. The monkey men that look like uh, look like someone that look like a human. They're kind of disgusting. All right, this is a nice. This was a nice room. And there's this guy who might just be worse because that face. Although we did find the shop. This is this is fine. Alright, what do we got? Oh, garlic necklace. I will take that. I don't think I need the, uh, I don't think I need the reload, because after this, the final floor is literally just the, it's just the boss, and, like, the item room, the gun room, and the boss. So it's, not a lot. Another one of these guys. Alright, well that was... Alright, I can handle these dudes. It's literally just, you gotta shoot them. You just dodge the first shot and then shoot at them. And then dodge the final shot. Forgot that important detail. And just having enemies approach me slower is super handy. All right, what's this time? All right, that's nice. Have an extra money. I hate these bunnies. They can literally like jump around and hide in different areas. Like there's little. I'm gonna search for money. I meant for health. I mean, this thing's in the way, but it's not too tricky. You just gotta be standing in, like, a particular spot. It only shoots in, certain, in like, a certain spot, so as long as you're not in that little corners, you're safe. And we might have enough money to get... to get the other thing. The, uh, stockpile. Although I'm probably going to buy Ambrosia in a minute. And of course. Alright, well at least we have the other two rooms. Which means if I can live through... I was going to say if I could live through this room we'd be fine, but nope. Oh my gosh. Once again, we're out of time. I'm so mad. Well, I'm probably going to take a break from this game and probably try out FNAF World next time, but I'm just going to have to see how if I can do any better next time we play this. But for now, that's it. So I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.